I want to bring in now Walzer Wealth Management President Rebecca Walzer. You know, Rebecca, you can say that now, multiplied by many times, but we just don't seem to care. At least back then, someone was paying attention if someone did care. You know, that Canadian clip is so scary because that really could happen in America. The Federal Reserve has already talked about potentially a bail-in. They will not bail the banks out again, Charles. If anything happens, money could be frozen and, and clients and will be locked out. Do you believe that, though? No, I don't believe that that would happen. No, do, you, do, do you believe they won't bail the banks out? Two things. You've got the Federal Reserve, which really is a bank for the wealthy. Right. I mean, it's, it's a bank for the banks and a bank for the wealthy. That's who they work for. They don't work for the U.S. for citizens. We. It's time people understand that. I'm so glad you said this because so many people think that because we're the world reserve currency that we have to build out the dollar, that we won't let our system collapse. What they don't understand is what the BRICS nations are doing to basically do cross-border payment transactions in local currencies without a reserve alternative to the dollar. So yes, I believe with the amount of deficits that we're running, that we just seem to carp launch. We're not in a war right now directly. We're not in a pandemic. And yet we're still getting a $7.3 trillion budget proposal from this administration. I think the rest of the world is saying America has taken modern monetary theory way too far and of course you've been talking about gold for a long time <laughs> it's yes. paying off no yes. you, listen this is why you, you you've had, you've been positioning your absolutely clients. central banks have also been positioning there. yeah that's what i'm saying and the big spike came with the invasion right the, right the russia's invasion of ukraine so this is not just inflation this is sort of an indictment on the geopolitics i think yes the ability of america to come to the rescue of the rest of the world yeah i mean if you kick someone out of the swift system and say you're going to uh, confiscate their 300 billion in u.s forex uh, holdings, that's a problem. Obviously, that wasn't done. Right. But, Charles, that scares a lot of countries, and they basically are, are buy buying other things besides the dollar. So then where do we go from here? I mean, I am bracing for really global upheaval, macroeconomic disruption, global upheaval. And if we have a World War III or an escalation, that certainly will bring it all the more fast. Faster. I mean, the, the spike in, in Google searches for World War III is through the roof. Exactly. You know? uh, and, and this peri periodically happens. Sometimes people get excited and say, oh, it's no big deal. But at some point, it is a big deal, particularly if it's on the minds of people, because people react to the way they're feeling. Well, it's also that we've had ongoing conflict that involves a global superpower, Russia, since 2022. And people are uneasy about that. That has not completed yet. Now we've got the Middle East popping off, too. You've got China, Taiwan, tensions going. And with what Xi Jinping is always saying, Taiwan is a part of China. You know, there's a lot of geopolitical right. problems right now on top of the economic problems, on top of no one seeming to care in the United States how much money we have to constantly pr keep printing. Charles, we could go no bid on a treasury auction. That will really tell us something. Wow. A lot of folks are saying it will have to be the bond market that gets our minds right. So i got 30 seconds. If they're not in gold, they should still be buying? Well, this is definitely not the top end. I don't expect it to keep going through the moon. I think we'll have some retrenchment, but it will continue to go up as these global That's uh, what you'll be able to sleep at night with them. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Rebecca, thank you so <laughs> thank much. Thank you, really Charles. appreciate it.